I had the pleasure of attending Leslie Durso's really fabulous plant-based um, vegan seminar. And she plays a very important role in the industry as she is an advisor to luxury hotels on how to incorporate plant-based menus into five-star resorts. And um, my husband, he was personally touched with a cancer diagnosis and he's vegan for health reasons. So for me, it was very interesting because as we travel, we find it harder and harder to find good vegan food for him without it just being pasta and a salad. Yeah. And it's really great to see someone like Leslie who is advising hotels like the St. Regis Punta Mita to create really delicious, fabulous, vegan, plant-based menus that everybody can enjoy. Absolutely. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another exciting edition of Travel Trends Live from Las Vegas at the Forbes Summit. I have the pleasure now to speak to Tiffany Dowd, who's probably more known to many of you as Lux Tiffany. And she runs a social media company totally focused on luxury hotels. Welcome, Tiffany. Great to have you with us. It's great to be here. Now, this is not your first summit, as I understand it. You know it's mine. Um, what brings you to the summit all these years and what brought you back this year? So first, I'm a great ambassador for Forbes Travel Guide. I'm also great friends with a lot of the hoteliers that have been awarded the Five Star Award. And I've had the great pleasure of being on the Forbes Strategy Committee for the last um, two terms. So I am definitely a, a partner of Forbes Travel Guide. Wow, that's and amazing. It's nice to be here as a guest. For sure. It's an incredible event. It's uh, you know an honor and a privilege to be here. And I'm quickly coming to understand just how... Uh, valuable the entire network is of Forbes and the conversations I've been having with a number of interesting people and now yourself included. So um, tell us this particular year um, some of the insights and takeaways you've had from the sessions yesterday and today. Well, I, I had the pleasure of attending Leslie Durso's really fabulous plant-based um, vegan seminar. And she plays a very important role in the industry as she is an advisor to luxury hotels on how to incorporate plant-based menus into five-star resorts. And um, my husband, he was personally touched with a cancer diagnosis and he's vegan for health reasons. So for me, it was very interesting because as we travel, we find it harder and harder to find good vegan food for him without it just being pasta and a salad. Yeah. And it's really great to see someone like Leslie who is advising hotels like the St. Regis Punta Mita to create really delicious, fabulous, vegan, plant-based menus that everybody can enjoy. Absolutely. Yeah, I've actually heard a few people commenting on her session in particular, and uh, someone had commented, even though they're not vegan, it was just actually personalized personalized experiences when it comes to culinary, and um, and obviously that's a big focus for many of the hotels and properties, the restaurants, and uh, not only wellness but also dining. It is, and not know. just it's not just about veganism; it's about people who have dietary restrictions and making sure that the hotels are well versed on what these are, and it's not sort of an afterthought. Or I have to go back into the kitchen and ask the chef if that's possible. That everybody gets a full, you know, wonderful experience, especially with dining when they're staying at a resort. Well, it's really cool speaking to you because you've been in this industry for a number of years and started this company over 15 years ago. Is that right? I did. I started yeah. in 2009, and I would say I was probably the original agency to manage social media for luxury hotels. And we've worked with hotels in over 22 countries on five continents. That's incredible. And so where are you based specifically, and how do you structure your team? I am based in Boston. I have a team that's also in California. We're a very small team, and we work with just a handful of the best luxury hotels in the world. We've also managed social media for private islands and real estate companies. And so when they come to you, are they coming to you because they are struggling with managing social media themselves internally? Are they looking for a strategy or all of the above? All of the above. Yeah. And usually I'm working with hotels that I have an existing relationship with, so I'm not out actively seeking new clients. It's really just about having a mutually agreeable relationship already, and I have the I'm so fortunate to work with the best luxury hotels in the world with the greatest people. Well, I'm keen to ask you the, um, the trends that you're seeing, especially in hospitality with social media. I know one of the, um, certainly one of the greatest drivers of booking activity is user-generated content and social media and seeing what other people are doing. And so I'm sure that's a big reason why many luxury hotels choose to, uh, to utilize your services. But specifically within that, um, social commerce, this idea that you're getting closer and closer to people actually booking. Has that been a big focus for a lot of the properties that you're managing the content, but also putting out ways for people to directly book their hotels? So 
hotels obviously want to inspire people to come to their hotels with beautiful content, beautiful videos. And I think, you know, it's very, very important to stay as authentic authentic as possible in your content. Um, there's a big drive for video, short video content, of course, with TikTok, you know, being so popular with the younger generation, it's still not as popular for luxury hotels, but people really want to see, you know, get an inside look at what the hotels are doing. And it's, it's a really fun way to feature food and, you know, experiences at the hotel. And you want to give those wow, awe moments, you know, quickly through social media that that person says, I need to go there. That has to be me. Yeah. I want to be in that infinity pool looking at the, you know, pitons in St. Lucia at Jade Mountain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So give us a couple of the hotels that you manage their social media for if you wouldn't mind. So well, I've, I've had amazing clients all over the world. I, you know, I don't tend to disclose who my clients are. I will tell you that they are some of the best hotels in the world. Got it. Okay. And then when it comes to actually getting the content, how does that work? Is it your team going on site? Or are you collaborating with someone on their internal team? We do both. So I am also known as Lux Tiffany, one of the original luxury travel influencers in our industry before it sort of became a term. So not only am I visiting the properties, um, not just my own clients, but hotels around the world, I'm sharing in, as a content creator myself. Um, we are also doing photo shoots on site. And then we also work with the hotels one-on-one -on -one so that they are have someone on property to create the content. And then we manage it and create the strategy for the hotels. And how did you get into this in the first place? In 2009, obviously, we're at the other side of the global financial crisis. Um, there's, we always seemed in the travel industry go from crisis to crisis. And here we are post-pandemic. But what gave you the idea to start this business initially? It's kind of an interesting journey. So my background was I studied broadcast journalism at the University of Southern California. I went to Boston for my master's degree in journalism, at which point I took a few jobs in Boston, one for a private business club, and my parents decided to build a hotel in Turks and Caicos. And at that time, I was not in the hospitality or hotel business. I did have, of course, marketing and advertising experience in journalism. And my mom decided that you know, it was really important for me to work in the family business. And living in Boston at the time, knowing the hotel was in Turks and Caicos, the job came with great perks. Yeah, <laughs> so, no kidding. <laughs> so my mom became my boss for 15 years. And through that, I was then became a hotel inspector for Condé Nast Luxury Travel Publication. I was traveling all over the Caribbean, New England, and British Columbia, Canada. And a new thing called Twitter and Facebook started coming, you know, it was becoming more popular. And I started sharing pictures on these sites of where I was going. I was in every five-star hotel in these regions, and it was a tremendous opportunity to share with people what they look like. You might only go to one hotel, but I was going to six of the hotels, and you yeah. could see them all. Then one day, I decided to put my parents' hotel up on Facebook as a friend, because there were no business pages at the time, and someone messaged me. They're like, wow, that's where I wanted to go on my 25th wedding anniversary. How do I book? The light bulb went off. So I decided to go to my very, you know, favorite people in the industry. Like, who, what hotels did I love? Which ho people did I love? And why don't I make them my first clients to start this business called Lux Social Media? And when I decided I was going to call it Lux Social Media, I was a little bit concerned about the term social media. It was a very new term. I wasn't sure it was going to exist in a few years. And people did not believe luxury and social media went hand in hand. In fact, I, I still get people... Just the other day, someone was telling me that they, they said, you know, you were so in the forefront of what you were doing because we didn't understand what you were doing. Yeah. And, and so I went and I slowly but surely, I had been checking off the absolute favorite clients in the entire world. And I've had my business for 15 years. And it is just every day I get to wake up and work with the best people, the best hotels. And I can't even believe it's a job. Well, the one thing I really want to ask you, because I know what a challenge it is for many organizations in travel to manage social, and one of the things that keeps coming up is that there's so many social platforms, and where do they invest their time and energy? So I'd love to get your take on this, especially for luxury hotels. Yeah. Um, what is your advice to a client when you mention Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok? How do you approach it's the multitude of channels? Isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I think in anything, quality over quantity know your audience, stay true to who you are. Um, you know, it's my job to be aware of what all the other channels are so that I can, you know, advise my clients that maybe TikTok isn't the best place for them, that if you are not good at sending me videos or we're not able to do a lot of videos, maybe TikTok isn't the right place for you because we need to get those on Instagram. So most of my clients, I would say, are, are using LinkedIn, Facebook, 
Um, still X, believe it or not. Yep. You know, we're dabbling into threads. <laughs> and of course, Instagram. And Instagram has offered so many great features with stories and reels. And, you know, th I think that that allowed for a greater opportunity to shift that thinking like, oh, we should be on TikTok to put more energy into those types of platforms. So, and, and when I, I love talking to the younger generations too and saying, okay, you're, you're a 16 year old. What are you using for social media? And I was very surprised to hear that he actually, this one gentleman I spoke to last week, he goes, I use Instagram. And I thought, oh, I thought he was going to tell me TikTok or Snapchat. Yeah. I thought that was great. <laughs> so, but keeping in mind that, you know, you do have to be aware of what the younger generation is using because they are making greater decisions in um, where families are traveling. Yeah. So the, um, obviously making the decisions about the channels is a conversation you have with the properties and determine which channels they should be active on. And then in terms of the amount of content they would be posting, um, is there an element to um, the frequency of being active on those channels? And what I'm, I guess, directly asking is, it, is it more meaningful to be very engaged on one platform as opposed to having a small amount of engagement on multiple platforms? Yes, <laughs> correct. <Yeah. laughs> um, but it is quality over quantity. And yeah. I think that one thing you have to understand that as a social media manager for any any hotel, you're also managing the backside. It's all the community management. You're getting wedding requests, dining requests, concierge requests, influencer requests, all on direct messages. So not only are you putting out marketing content, beautiful photos and videos, you really have to be ready to be responsive to those types of requests. Yeah. So, you know, I still say focus on what you do well if you love two particular channels, let's do those great rather than be average just on five of them. Yeah, no, that's great feedback. And what about yourself for travel plans for 2024? Oh, I there some exciting travel yeah. plans. I'm heading to Malta for the first time. Oh, wow. I am going to see the Corinthia Hotels in Malta, and I've never been to Malta. I was married by a Maltese priest, <laughs> and my father-in-law, um, my late father-in-law, was one uh, Knights of Malta, so that's exciting. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to London. Um, it's my 20th wedding anniversary oh, congratulations. in August, so I'm deciding whether or not I go back to Turks and Caicos, my <laughs> home away from home, to decide, um, or if I go someplace else with my husband. And we just have so many, I'm a last minute booker too, so if somebody says, <laughs> hey, let's go here, um, I'm ready to jump on a plane. Wow, that's awesome. Well, I'm sure many people listening to this are going to be intrigued to uh, follow up with you and find out more, especially all the hotel uh, brands that are out there uh, figuring out their social media strategy because it's always the topic of conversation. So I'd love if you can leave us with how they can find out more information about Lux Media or reach out to yourself. I know you're active on a lot of social channels, so that's there's many ways to reach you. But yeah, please tell us where to find you. You can find me on all social media channels at, at Lux Tiffany, L-U-X-E-T-I-F-F-A-N-Y. And I'm also on LinkedIn. And my email is Tiffany at LuxSocialMedia.com. That's great. It's been a pleasure to meet you. And I wish you the best of the rest of the conference. And we'll be sure to keep in touch. Thanks, Dan. Thanks so much.